Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so you join me back in my uh, hotel room slash apartment. It's Friday night, which means it's a uh, five minute Friday. I've decided to call this um, video a five minute Friday, even though I can assure you right now, <laughs> it's not gonna be five minutes, but we'll endeavor to make it a five minute video. The reason why is, is so I can get it out on the Friday. So I'm filming it Friday, you, you're gonna watch it hopefully Friday. All right guys, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is something that I came up, it's actually a news article really, but um, because I'm filming this, I thought I'd talk about it. And it was about the fire on board a 75 meter sailing yacht that happened yesterday. The yacht is called sailing yacht SY Focea. I think it's pronounced F-H-O-C-E-A. This is uh, this this boat's an old boat. I mean, this is an old boat by normal standards. 1976, 25 meter. It's one of the top 10 sailing yachts uh, in, by length in the world, and it had it was it was caught on fire in uh, high winds. I think it was um, on Thursday actually, and uh, off the coast of Malaysia. And there was um, there's a video which I'll put on the screen of um, of uh, some firefighters reaching the vessel and. Uh, trying to extinguish it. There were seven crew on board. I think they were all Malaysian crew or, or Thai crew, I'm not sure. Uh, they were all rescued. And um, the cause of the fire is yet unknown. So we'll find out at some point when they do an investigation. I have a feeling the boat didn't sink. Uh, I think it was, the, f the fire was extinguished and the vessel is still afloat. So hopefully they'll be able to repair it. So that's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's sad that I, that, that happened to the boat, but it's also good that nobody died. The next thing is, I wanted to uh, show you a few photos. Uh, one of my favorite new yacht builders, Dynamic, they've just released a, a new boat. They, these are the guys that brought us the Dynamic GT115, which was designed by Porsche Design. Uh, that was a stunning yacht. I was I was really hoping to get on board that yacht, and, and, and I was actually talking with Dynamic about getting on board, and unfortunately, in the process of me negotiating with them to get on board, the vessel sold. Hopefully, if you're the owner of this one, that you're waiting to receive it, uh, that I would love to come on board and uh, and have you show me around, or or let me just uh, do a tour. So if you're if you're involved in that, that would be great. Um, it's a beautiful boat. It's a 41 meter um, Dynamic GTT135, that's the model. So they, they do a, a range of models and you can go and personalize it to your own uh, liking, of course. It, uh, it does a, 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 it's a cruising speed of 15 knots and the yacht consumes 190 liters of fuel an hour at 15 knots, uh, says the yard. And it can hit a top speed of 20 knots. And, and it has a, um, it has a uh, range of three and a half thousand nautical miles um, at 15 knots, which is impressive. I, I love the gold hull; it looks it looks amazing. Um, I don't know what it is about these yachts, but I just think they look really nice. And um, I know this sounds silly, but it it kind of makes me think that this is maybe the kind of boat that I would buy if I won the lottery. Euro lottery tonight? The Euro lottery. 175 million pounds. So it, I think if I if I got uh, lucky on the lottery that that might be the boat or one of those boats that might be the one that I might buy. A couple of other things. Um, one of the things uh, I wanted to mention is I get quite a few people asking me if I have a Patreon account. Uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a system that quite a lot of YouTubers use where they um, people basically donate money to the YouTuber uh, to help them do what they're doing. And I do get occasional people asking me if I have a Patreon account, which is which is amazing. Um, and and I thank you in advance for that. I don't have a Patreon account. The fact is, I mean, I work in the yachting industry, I get a very good salary, and I make a certain amount from YouTube, and it, it's enough for me. So I don't need uh, that right now. In the future, when I go full time on YouTube, then perhaps that might change. But right now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. But I do really appreciate it. I think it's amazing that people offer that kind of thing. Now, speaking of YouTube, because we're on YouTube, right? My account, and it's something I've never talked about before on, on camera, but 
My, my uh, YouTube uh, channel is coming up to 90,000 views, uh, 90,000 subscribers even. And uh, which is, I mean, it just blows me away that I've actually reached that many subscribers. Um, however, I would really like to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. Uh, if you are watching this video and, it, and if you've watched more than say three of my videos and, and you're an occasional viewer who comes in uh, and watches a video every now and then, just hit the subscribe button and, uh, and hit the uh, notifications of the little bell there and just, uh, just bump up my numbers and let's try and get to 100,000 day. That would be uh, amazing, get one of those little plaques so I could show off like I see a lot of YouTubers do. In about, uh, I'm not sure when it will be, I think it's gonna be around 10 days, um, uh, it might be two weeks, I'm gonna be leaving uh, Genoa and I'm gonna be heading home in my car. So I'm gonna be doing a 1700 mile, or what's that, two and a half thousand kilometer road trip, uh, which is gonna be very interesting considering everything that's going on right now. Because when I, when I came down from the UK to Italy, we had a certain type of restrictions, lockdowns, etc. But it's gone much more severe since uh, since I got down here. Um, so it's going to be interesting because I've got to drive through Italy and through France to get to Calais in a in a British registered car, which you don't see an awful lot of uh, right now because of everything that's happened plus Brexit. So uh, yeah, I'll be interested to see if I get if I make it all the way without getting stopped by the police. And, uh, and you know whether I get, make it home uh, without any problems. I'll put links below for, if you don't know about my other channel. It's called E-Tech Man. Now that might change in the future. I've got some plans which I, I don't want to go into right now. I've got some plans of possibly changing the name of, of my other channel plus this channel. The reason why I'm talking about the road trip is um, what I was thinking about doing on the way home, because I've got, I've got an awful lot of time to kill, I was thinking about doing a Q&A in the car. Uh, if you've got any questions, it can be about anything. Um, it can be about yachting. It can be about my cars. Uh, you know, some car questions would be good. Um, if you've got any, any questions at all, put them in the comment section of this video. Just put the first word, road trip question or something like that. And, um, and then I'll make a note so I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting. The, there's, a, there's a video actually on my other channel right now of, of, from the trip down. I think it's called New Car and a 1700 mile road trip or something like that. I'll put a link below and, and up here in the corner. Um, so check that out. Um, because I've been working in the shipyard, um, I've been seeing a lot of boats get taken out of the water recently on the synchro lift. And I thought it might be interesting to make a video about the process of how it works. And, and uh, I've got some footage which I can use to show you the whole process. Um, I'll, I'll work on that over the weekend. But if you've got any questions about, um, about uh, shipyards, what happens in the shipyard, anything like that, put those below uh, and, uh, and I'll answer them in that video. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. All right, guys, bye.